John Kirby there. Well, Lyle Goldstein is Director of Asia Engagement at Defence Priorities and is also a visiting, visiting professor at Brown University. Joining us now in Barrington, Rhode Island. Lyle, thanks very much indeed for your time. I just wonder what you make of the, the situation. It's clearly tense. There are military uh, overtures and overtones to it as well. How, how, how risky is all this? Well, I'm very concerned. It's it's we've seen some uh, moves that uh, you know are are somewhat unprecedented. Um, I, I, my own view is that this likely will not lead to to war, but you know I think uh, it's fair to say that you know that the U.S. and China do seem to be on that kind of collision course, and and this is kind of one step down that road. So so I'm very very concerned. Um, you know, and, and watching uh, how this is developing. I mean, you, you can, uh, there are probably some reasons why China might consider a use of force, you know, kind of earlier rather than later. We can, we can explore those. But generally, I think um, there are more reasons suggesting that China will not, will not uh, pull the trigger now. Although, you know, so I, I'm thinking this is a show of force, but still it's, you know, it, it shows, uh, uh, just how delicate the situation is, uh, and and I'm extremely concerned. I, and presumably they are watching uh, and considering what their best response is. I mean, I think we've got some pictures here of uh, um, this is um, we are waiting for Nancy Pelosi, in fact, to meet the president of Taiwan. That will happen soon. Those pictures will be beamed around the world, but also, of course, Beijing will see them all. Uh, those irritations presumably mount up. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, China is irate about this. Uh, the My furious, uh, they've made that very clear. Uh, and they're, they are aiming to show that uh, and will do so over the next few days with some uh, very um, intense uh, military exercises. These exercises will happen to the north, south, east and west of the island. That's totally unprecedented. So, uh, you know, ho hold on to your hat, buckle your seatbelt. This is this is very, very dangerous. Um, uh, Th that's very uh, worrying. I, I, sorry, I, I sorry just, to interrupt you, Lyle. I was just going to say before you come to that point, that's very worrying language. Um, not many people are expecting open confrontation at this stage, though. Well, that's right. I, I think most people believe that that uh, the timing, for a variety of reasons, you know, there, there will be a major party congress in the fall. Uh, that probably, you know, uh, Xi Jinping has been facing a lot of challenges at home, you know, uh, related to the pandemic, economic challenges. Uh, the Ukraine war has been kind of a sobering picture of what real war is like. So, so I think there are many reasons why this probably will not lead to conflict and arguably the, the Chinese military is nearly ready but not 100 percent ready right. uh, I would say so so you know there are reasons why uh, hopefully this will not uh, break out into open conflict but you know I, I I just think it's important that this goes well beyond the Pelosi visit you know there have been a string of very high level visitors most people don't realize but this kind of vitriolic language has really been uh, characteristic of Chinese statements for at least the last five years. So, uh, so it's, it's, this is not terribly new. This is a pattern. It's been growing over time. And here, I think China's decided to draw the line here. Yeah. And perhaps the most high profile element of that, that gradual ratcheting up as well. Uh, Lal, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for your 